<laughs> it's for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. Gonna speak to her. Could you ask her something for me? The dowry. She'd know where it is. Dowry for sister in barn. The barn? She must mean one of the empty buildings behind the inn. I trust you to get it for me. I can't leave her. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Mirilef! Farmer! From Eltergard, traveling. Sister's wedding. Finding husband Ben Rin inside. Door locked. Trapped. Fire. Inside room. Top floor. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. <laughs> I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I need some time alone with her to say goodbye. My penitent child, the goblins have blood on their minds. I am leaving. I suggest you do the same. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Wouldn't be courage without the risk, would it? I'll figure out a way to make it up to him. What are heroes like? Swords? Shields? Shiny things? Zevlor. Frontiers? What's happened, Will? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Sevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Very good of you. Thank you. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corger. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave, but perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us.
I'm going to have to write a song about you now, aren't I? But truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. He's back! You brought him back! You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, Master. She shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. The air was different. Colder. Sylvanas, keep you. We're free of the goblins. But the grove is changed, wounded. The days ahead won't be easy. I'm glad we have Halsin to guide us. Your path will soon take you away from the grove, I feel. Your efforts will not be forgotten. Soon. First, I must set matters to rights in the grove. And you should celebrate your victory. After being dormant for so long, your infection is unlikely to produce new symptoms spontaneously. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Sylvanus, keep you. Another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? No, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay, if you must.
Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanas's peace to this place. But I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Thanks to you, the Grove is whole again. Halston will guide us forward and Korga's heart will heal. I have full faith in that. Ah, you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. May you keep balance. That sounds fine. But do I have to haul it around? Until we make the coin for I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. We're sick of running from those rats. Boulder's Gate, we're coming. One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. Of course, it's yes. a big city. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Eldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... You risked your life for us. There's fighting, you run, and you do not stop for anything. God, it seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Having that stashed away.
away would have made life a lot easier. Follow it down. Mattis, this is junk. Waste of effort hauling it with us. Uh, no, there's collectors. We in did the it. They'll pay good coin for it, I swear. Give me. Come on, you're not picking a gift for your sweetheart. Grab a blade. I'm glad you came through it alive. We owe you more than we can repay. What a mess. I wonder if the goblins have anything valuable on them. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life, even if only temporarily. Thank you. Artifacts is a positive glut of magic. Yet my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Though not, I think, my methods. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. 
The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound, then suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. 
Not yet, I'm afraid. But my expectations are very, very high. <laughs>